we're now talking about mortgage before marriage. Okay, in this case, you did um, you did marriage before mortgage. Yeah. But yes or no, right? You, you still were smart enough to say, you know what? I'm going to put this financial responsibility on one person, yeah. right? Because I think in a marriage, if I'm making a lot of money, I have good credit, right? And, and it could go both ways. I have good credit. I'm making a lot of money. I'm not putting a car in my name. Yeah. Doesn't make no sense. You putting debt in my name, why? Let's yeah. go buy a big building with my name. Yeah. You go buy a car. You yeah. know? Because you have to think. Let's not go half on a car. That makes no sense. Now, the both that same debt is, say, the car is $30,000. Mm-hmm. $30,000 on you and $30,000 on me. Yeah. How does that make sense? It's not even 15, 15. It's 30 on you yeah. and 30 on me. And yeah. now together we have a $60,000 $60, loan. But it's really thirty. But it's reported mm. on me and you. But even for you too, as a as a owner of a business, yeah. like you can put like have the company buy that car. Correct. So like, and and the way that we're trying to think of this, like, okay, the house is under your name. Yep. She needs a new car soon. So like, maybe I could buy it as a part of my company, and that's a company car. She's Ooh. somehow able to use it, and Gym now drop. I get a tax credit. All right, Jim right. drop. Here <laughs> it goes. Gym so drop. let's go. Let's go in. 